so sad. So sad. As we heard at each one ago, this is sad. Yeah, this is when they had like every theater full. It is Thursday and I'm doing a walking around Melbourne. Jazz is here. Yay. And we're doing a walk around all of the theaters. So we're at Her Majesty's at the moment. And they're all closed and I'm sad. But I thought I'd have a walk around and see all the theaters when they're dark because it's still important to see them and look at them. And then across the road, hold on, is, oh wait, I need a better shot. Wait, there you go. There's Come From Away, which got closed like two days before it was supposed to finish. Yeah, this is when they had like every theater full. Um, there it is. Uh, 5th of July 2014, I was not here. And uh, the major production was playing in four of the six East End theatres all together. So they had like Wicked and Gr I want to say that's Greece. Or is it Rocky Horror? No, that's got to be Greece. No, that's Rocky Horror. Take it back, that's Rocky Horror. And then Wicked, Lucy and Gemma Ricks and. Rocky Horror. Um, no, no, that's Wicked. No. That's Rocky Horror, yeah. <laughs> and then um, this is um, Lay Mears is up there, but this is uh, oh, Kicking and I. So, but I love it. And got Her Majesty's Theatre, Princess Theatre, Regent Theatre, Comedy Theatre, Athenaeum Theatre, Forum Theatre. Mm -hmm. Sad. So sad. We have, we have looped over to the princess. <laughs> Jazz is staring through the windows again, trying to see what's inside. I think it's so sad. It is like, it's just so depressing, like all of them out. Just, as we go to each one and go, this is sad, this is sad too. Um, to try and get and see a shot of this theater because it's so pretty. Princess Theatre is the most beautiful of all of them, I think. It's just absolutely freaking stunning. The Regent is personally like my favourite. Yeah, I love the um, stairs of the Regent. But this is just, I love it. It's just pretty to look at. It suits Harry Potter. Mm. So I've seen here, I've seen Phantom in 2007. And I've seen Book of Mormon. I think that's the only show I've seen in here. Everything else I've either seen at Regent or Her Majesty's. Are these little dragons original? And I didn't put that for Harry Potter, did they? That I don't think so. Like copper. It is. It's a perfect spot for Harry Potter. But you are right. I, I don't know. Copper. I've seen it's it. All that there. Gold, so I wonder if they put it there for Harry Potter. No, but it matches like the copper. Like, oh, that's just like focusing on my finger. We were just. Oh you no. Know, <laughs> that's one of the nicer ones though. But. We were just discussing the fact that there's these beautiful old buildings. Oh my god. There's these beautiful old buildings and then next to them are these ugly square things. And it goes to show like you have that beautiful tram running around Melbourne and then just like roadworks everywhere and old, like new like ugly buildings. But if you walk around Melbourne there's some very beautiful spots. Um, and I mean look, you've got the... Here's Jess. Um, got the like town hall building there but it's covered in road work so it's, it's being oh it's being restored oh that's Restoration exciting works. i see i see i saw that as soon as i was like <laughs> it's covered in crap it's being restored that's why and it will look so much better when it's done not better but like they'll have a facelift <laughs> they're not knocking it down they're just getting a facelift yay <laughs> all right let's let's walk let's keep going okay the name my favourite is the region. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah, like, <laughs> my favourite. Oh, this is all zoomed in, that's why it's all like, okay, but like usually it's so noisy here in this particular section. Okay. Like, yeah, no chance. Like, there's usually always something in this. Like, there's never nothing in there, even if it's just announcing what's coming. Like, and it's empty. Like that's terrifying. This is just sad. 
literally every theater I've gotten to, looking at them dark is just so depressing. It's just so sad. Oh, my favorite too. It's just, and I actually want to cry. Like it's just so upsetting that these theaters probably won't reopen for at least six months, maybe even longer, considering by the time they reset up everyone's contracts and rehearsals and stuff, even when the theatres go live again, they have to wait until they can get everyone's contracts re renewed. So it's just so sad. Oh. Winter shadows. <laughs> there you go, so Hamer Hall. This is where we saw Megan Hilty a couple of years ago. And then Art Centre. Okay, here's the shot. So, there you go. That is the, the spire of the Art Centre. And Jazz is going to tell you its history. Okay, so you see the bottom of the spire, how it's all like wavy? That's actually representing a ballerina's tutu. Ooh. Yes, that is why it is shaped like that. <laughs> Miss Austria, artistic <laughs> knowledge. And we know that the ballet is played in there as well, the Australian ballet. So ah, it's quite nice. I think that's so cool. And this is the art centre entrance. So usually they have a cafe just here, which is also closed. And they've got some pictures of the inside on the outside while they're closed as well. And again, usually all these spots are filled with what's coming, what's happening, but of course they are clo they're closed, as I keep repeating myself. But this one has, see it like this has State Theatre, Playhouse, Fairfax Studio, and the Australian Music Vault, plus bars and restaurants, and then Hamer Hall is back around the corner. So they just have so much more space to do shows, and more interesting shows. Art Centre in Melbourne, another closed sign. Sad. Looking at this Can you see it? Oh, you can see like the red, just. And you can see in the window, and uh, I can see like my reflection like back there. Um, so many reflections of me. Yeah. And then they have a, the bar is like spelled the bar, like the ballet bar, B-A-R-R-E. Um, but it is a bar. <laughs> it's very clever play on words. Um, and they do an excellent espresso martini. That is the other thing. Now that I've had a couple of coffees in an actual coffee cup, um, I now I want an espresso martini. Where are we going? The sign. Oh yes, sign, sign. Wait. See, there's the bar. And you usually go around. So we'll talk to you now. And it usually hangs out back here. There it is. There's the entrance. Bar and eatery. And it's got this beautiful garden out here. Hey, it's pretty. It's like a little hidden space back here. Because it's closed. So usually. How many times in this video can I say the word usually? Oh, this is the garden. Oh, okay. So you could literally just come and set yourself up because no one's here. How nice. Sunshine. Winter sunshine. Uh, Alright. Gonna end the vlog here. We've wandered around all the favourite spots and it's still very noisy because this is the second time I've tried to film this film this because it's really noisy and we're next to a road. But I'm gonna finish this here at the art centre and remember to support your local arts communities because they are in a bad way at the moment. Give back to your local theatre communities, your arts communities, and let's support the Melbourne Arts. Yay. Yes. Okay.